become a percussionist. But what fascinates you about percussion? How, okay, that's easier to answer. How does one become what one is is a difficult question. Um, what fascinates me about it, the longer I play and the older I get, is that it never stops. Um, this thing, this percussion, this modern percussion with the repertoire and the instrument is, um, you can't master it because it's changing all the time. So um, every piece of music that I play is a, demands a, a different kind of virtuosity. So it's not like a violin or a piano where you learn your scales and you start at a young age and your fingers know by the time you're 15 everything they have to do. My fingers and my hands and my feet and my head and my elbow gets to learn new things all the time. And I've been playing for over 50 years and I still am learning new things all the time. Well, <laughs> did you play another instrument? First, or did you initially? I initially am a percussionist, but I also, because of my education, I have pl played other instruments. But it's never lasted so long. So your heart was always in the percussion. I would say yes, it still is. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us a, bit, a little bit about the pieces you're going to play here? The thought with this performance is. Um, hooking up some of the solo co compositions of John Cage to moments of maybe artistic inspiration, which I don't know for sure, but if I take titles of pictures or I go from some of the works in the exhibition, um, I tried to think about certain direct compositions or ideas of Mr. Cage that would either contrapoint or correspond or dialogue with the works that are here. Um, one of the pieces that um, is probably the most unusual work that I'm playing is a work called Child of Tree. It was written in the 70s. I, can't, I could tell you the date, but I can't tell you now. And it, it's um, written for a cactus, actually. It's written for plant material, but specifically for the needles of a cactus, which um, in a sense that every cactus is different, so it's once again an instrument that even if I learned it, I would never master it. Um, the needles um, have different pitches, so it's a kind of a chance melodic composition that's going to change every time I play it because the cactus will change. I think that idea of chance to find out what you play when you have to roll dice or you have to do it in eaching questions to come up with the exact formula for the piece. And I think that idea with the cactus was so fascinating for Cage that he actually multiplied the piece and, and did a piece called Branches, which is for up to 16 players. So the same material multiplied. So the piece can grow and grow and grow. and obviously changes again in the multiplication, how you start it. Um, then he's got a piece called 1-4, which um, uses... Uh, Cage did that a lot for percussion, where he tells you he wants five to...